After two terms as mayor, Michael Bloomberg is running for re-election on a record that he says includes better schools, safer streets, and fiscal stability. November 3rd, vote Mike Bloomberg. Let's re But what's eye-popping about the campaign is how much he's spending on it. I've known for 30 years. <laughs> Eight years ago, the unknown Bloomberg spent $74 million to introduce himself to New Yorkers. Four years ago, he spent $85 million on his re-election. This time around, the figure is certain to pass $100 million. When it comes to running New York City, we know Mike Bloomberg is doing the job. He's been blanketing the local airwaves. The billionaire mayor, whose campaigns are self-financed, is outspending the Democratic nominee, controller William Thompson, by roughly 14 to 1. That's right. Thompson has sought to make issues of the mayor's campaign spending and his having persuaded the city council to repeal the term limits law twice passed by voters so he could run again. But the issue has failed to get traction. Pre-election polls give Bloomberg a double-digit lead despite the Democrats' overwhelming advantage in voter registration. The people that were responsible for the first term limit vote said they thought this was a particularly unique time in history. They'd come and ask me to run again. And what we have here really is... A, cho a choice for the voters. They're going to have to decide, do they like the progress that we've made or do they want to go to the kind of government that my opponent would give them? Mr. Thompson, your response? The people of New York City made their choice on two occasions. Back in 93 and in 96, voters overwhelmingly voted to enforce and put in place term limits. Mike Bloomberg has overturned term limits for his own self-interest. It is his Some observers see Bloomberg's massive campaign spending as a way of turning a re-election um, race into a referendum on his eight uh, years in office. He and the rest of his staff have to be looking forward to what looks like a likely third term and trying to establish some kind of mandate to uh, continue to ad advance their policy agenda. I'm not very happy about him doing uh, the away with the term limits for this term, but I'm not a big Thompson fan, so I will be supporting Bloomberg. Um, I think that's ridiculous. I think that there should be a cap on that. Considering the economy we're in, it just seems like there, there's better things to do with your money. No matter who wins the election, the mayoralty is a prize with a serious drawback. The city faces significant budget shortfalls early next year due to shrinking tax collections and mushrooming pension obligations. It's an issue that neither candidate has spent much time talking about. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.